Hey guys, I'm Steph from Baboon Outdoors and I'm here to talk to you guys about our pinch block. The pinch block is our training block that helps develop your grip strength. Your grip strength is powered by the muscles in your forearm and the muscles in your hand. Each muscle activates differently based on how wide you're pinching. We have four different sizes for a variety of training. From narrow pinches like you'll find at Malibu Creek to wider pinches like you'll find in indoor gyms. We have three different ways to set up our pinch block. You can either clip it in, loop it back, or girth hitch it. Clipping it in is the easiest method to set up the pinch block. You can also clip it to a canteen or a set of weights if you have them. Just be careful as this method is prone to cross-loading. Just like sport climbing, the carabiner is at its weakest when cross-loaded. With the second fastest method, you can loop the corelet through the loops and then loop it back to the carabiner. The carabiner is less likely to cross-load this way, making it the safest method. The last method is the girth hitch. The girth hitch is a technique that can be used to tie into things. It is a simple hitch to learn and is very versatile. Of course, this will be tough if you use a bigger weight. The girth hitch uses friction to hold onto the weight. The more loops you have, the more friction it will place. With more friction, you want to make sure you inspect the cordelette for any wear and tear. There are two ways to hold the pinch block. The first method is the regular pinch. This pinch is the most comfortable as it conforms to the hand grip and doesn't cut into your weapon. The next pinch is the sloper pinch. It is intended to be used along the angles of the block. This sloper pinch we developed is actually an antagonistic exercise, so it'll balance the muscles of your forearm. This is a great workout because it'll give you extra power to hold onto the slopers without relying heavily on your shoulders. So the sloper pinch is easier when you're low to the ground. Once you're done with the pinch block, gently put them away. Dropping them may damage the carabiner, cordlet, or the block itself, possibly jeopardizing the safety of the system. Each block can hold up to 150 pounds, and you can take them anywhere. You can buy Baboon's Pinch Block on our website. The link will be provided in the description below. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> Pinchers and slopers. Yeah! Bang! Thank you, Steph. Clipping it in is the easiest method to set up the... <laughs> bigger what? <laughs> a bigger what? This will be tough. <laughs> if you use a bigger weight. On the top. That's the top. It's like it's there. I know it's there. Yeah. <laughs> like that like stills of me and just like a voiceover. Yeah, I was like... I, <laughs> I run everything, no pauses, no All breaks. Right. I hope you have everything memorized. Alright, sounds good.